she's about to pass out from heat. <laughs> oh my goodness. This little one's very, very sleepy, as you guys can see. He was pretty, it was really, it's been so hot this morning. So he was on the, he was getting really warm. We couldn't call him down by anything because we don't have anything to call him down by. We were, we were fanning him. Fanning him and he was crying, he was screaming. And I was like, mum, let me take him. Like, I don't Mom, think he was, I don't think he was crying because of the heat though. I think no, he's crying because he's overtired. Yeah, yeah, he's overtired. But, um, Mum was like, I'm like, Mum, you've had him all oh, like, so let me take him. And literally, I went, it's all right. And he literally just shut his eyes straight away. I went, it's all right. And picked him up and he was like, <laughs> Look at it, just, it looks really long. I know. Oh my gosh. He's fast asleep. But speaking of the heat, guys, this is the situation that's going on today. It's boiling. It's so, so, so hot that this morning we're going out to a, oh my gosh, I haven't even done my eyebrows today, but I don't care. I'm on holiday. <laughs> We're going out to a um, a caravan supermarket. So it's like a supermarket for all caravan things. And I'm hoping we're going to be able to buy an actual air conditioning unit because the fans, they just don't do anything except circulate the hot air. And trust me, the air is hot, hot, hot. It's unbearable. Our clothes are constantly sticking to us. So we're hopefully be going to be able to get an air conditioning unit. Because obviously we're going to be using our caravan lots, not just on this holiday, but other trips as well so it'll come in really handy so we're all just about finished getting ourselves ready and we're going to head there right now jace did have this on this morning that esme made and designed she was very very excited that it was finally getting to wear it but it was too hot in it so we had to take it back off but this is what esme designed and will be sold as a package with our beautiful jace doll our baby reborn doll we teamed up with mary shortle to do and we're so so proud of this baby it's so so beautiful you get a whole package and the opportunity to meet us and have a little tea party with your babies if you were to purchase one of these so i'll leave a link in the description box down below and you can check that out if you want to the girls have all gone and sat in the car because it's the only means of air conditioning we've got and the only way that they can cool down so they're all sat in the car isabel just took jace to pop him in his car seat and they're going to sit in there and wait and as we're just waiting for chris as usual to get ready still i thought i'd have a little chat i thought i'd have a little chat with you guys about breastfeeding and how it's going with jace and how he's doing and stuff so as you guys have probably already know if you've been watching our vlogs he's waking up every single hour during the night and it's it's not just been a one-off it's happening every single night and it has been for a while now and he wants to feed and he does try and feed and go back to sleep and then he's also feeding every hour pretty much during the day he does have one long nap of about two hours sometimes he usually has about three naps a day so once for two hours ish and then the other ones maybe an hour and a half and then the other one's just a quick nap usually about half an hour something like that so that's recommended for four months old i have looked that up and i know that that's what he should be napping during the day but it also says that he can be going up to eight hours on a night time eight hours and he can't even go one and i've got no idea why and it's really 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 stressing me out now i've got to a stage where now i know it's not just a one-off that i'm not producing enough milk again and it's such a stressful worry and it's just brought back all those horrible feelings that I had right at the start of our breastfeeding journey when he was first born that I'm not producing enough that I'm starving him that he's hungry all the time and it's just awful and I hate it's even worse that we're in a um a foreign country and I know we're only in Spain right now and we can get access to things if we needed to but just we're not at home and you know I can't just nip for some aptamil and I'm looking at the shops for formula top-ups if I was to go down that route and I just have got no idea what I'm looking for and it's just really 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 stressing me out like I did say to Chris at about 4am oh my gosh you're gonna have to buy some formula I can't cope with this anymore I can't cope with no sleep then when I woke up this morning I changed my mind again <laughs> it always happens during the night but um I, I do feel like he's, he's hungry and I, I just don't feel like I'm producing enough and I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do. I was desperate to get to six months exclusively breastfeeding him, but not if he's miserable and trying to feed every hour during the day and not if I'm up every hour during the night because it's just so tiring. And I know that I could go to sleep during the day when he has that two hour block, but that's kind of my only time that I get one on one with the girls and they're so patient. like all the time every day with me having all my energy and all my time having to go on jace i just want to give them that you know that mummy time in the pool where jace is asleep so i can go and play with them um so i don't want to sleep during that time but it does mean that i'm exhausted i'm just not sleeping at all 
and I don't know what to do. I don't really know why I'm telling you guys this. I don't know if anybody will have any advice, any ideas. He's four and a half months. I don't know. Comment down below if you've faced anything similar, how you overcame it. Do we just plough through and hope that he is getting enough milk? He's just going through a fussy stage. Or do we think about topping up with formula? I don't know. I don't know what to do, guys. Comment down below anyway and let me know. I'm not going to be making any rash, de rash decisions over the next day or so. So let me know in the comments. Are you almost ready? Yeah. You ready? He's ready guys, let's go. It's fingers crossed we're gonna pick up something to cool down the caravan, because obviously we're still in Europe for a very good number of weeks yet in this heat. And we need to cool things down, man. It's very, very hot in there at the minute. Okay, so we had no luck for air conditioning units in there, but we did have luck with something else we need, which is a bin for definite, and we got a plug converter that'll convert anything to UK mess. sort of thing, so. I know, it's really so bright. bright, it's really bright. Although that did just cost us 40 pounds for a bin and a plug. <sighs> yeah. Well, anyway guys, so they told us there's a shop just down the motorway here, about five miles down, called Bauhaus, and that apparently sells all things air conditioning and electrical, and they have portable air conditioning units and all sorts of things, so we're going to head down there and check that out, hopefully we're going to get ourselves an AC unit from there. So we'll catch you in a minute when we get there. We're not having much luck with this air conditioning unit search, guys. This is the third shop. We've been to three shops actually, this is the next one. And the final one we're going to, everyone's going to wait in the car and I'm going to run over. I did buy a fan at the last shop. They had some really good ones on, Bar, Bar House, something like that. But they did have units, but they said they'd put them on for half price and they sold out straight away. <laughs> Obviously, he said everyone in caravans has been in to buy them, but they had not left. But they've sent us this other place, which is called Leroy Merlin. Fingers crossed they've got them here, because we are starting to waste the day now. It's getting late in the afternoon. The girls want to go back to the pool. We also want to go to Lidl, to the supermarket, to get some food in. And it's just wasting the day. So we've got a fan, if nothing else, a really big one. Fingers crossed, though, we can get an actual air conditioning unit, because I think that's what we need. Oh, we're in luck, guys. They did have these two in the other shop, but it said that they were too big for a caravan, too powerful. But this one's only small. I need to go and ask, but I think this one might be a winner. Oh yeah, we've managed to get one. Absolutely buzzing, we managed to get ourselves an air conditioning unit and for a really good price too. So now it's time for the last stop of the day. Lidl! Let's go get some food. Oh yes, is it? Oh, Best thing about I Lidl. Lidl. <laughs> Best thing about Lidl, the bakery. Why did we have this oh, in England? Yes. Like in England, it's like we do, mate. No, that it's not like this style, though. Don't we have a little tiny counter, but this sad. Well, Heaven. I can't answer that, mate. To be honest, yeah. I'm probably I'm but probably wrong. To be honest, you probably are. I probably Usually, are, mate. Yeah. Cannot resist a bit of cheesy bread. Oh, that looks so good. And I did see this down the way as well. A bit of uh, naughty. Extra chocolate chip oh, cookies. Mm. Ooh, 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 this is raging, guys, because this morning you went and spent, spent two euros on six croissants. Two euros for six. In the on site store. In the on site store. And we get 10 here for 59 cents. That's a pretty good deal. 59 cents, so I'm buying five bags, five bags, four bags. Uh, well, my breakfast in bed just still worked, didn't it? That's four. So it, it was did. worth you it. You made me breakfast in bed this morning because at 4 a.m. when I was crying my eyes, I was like, I can't cope anymore without sleep. <laughs> I think it felt bad for me. Anyway, 40 croissants, they should last us all a long time. Okay, Bob Main, let's go. Oh yes guys, that is exactly what you think it is, is a fat air conditioning machine cooling this place down. So we're gonna leave it to do its thing, we're gonna go to the pool, have some fun, and hopefully when we come back, we're gonna have a really cool, nice, no more heat caravan. Okay, so we've just got up to the pool, and I cannot wait to jump in. What about you girls? Yeah. Ready to get in? Let's go. I'm literally 
so gutted that in a couple of days we're going to it. Sorry, guys. Water up. Um, I'm gutted that in a couple of days we're going to be leaving this place. So um, I'm really sad that we're leaving this place. I'm really, really sad. Ready? Uh, I'm nervous. Here, ready? So we just got up to the pool area. And I'm so glad that Jace has finally got himself off. I got him off to sleep because he has been so, so tired today, but just not able to get himself off into a sleep. He seems off right now. Hi, Isla. And yeah, we're going to go in the pool and leave him all by himself, sat at the side of the pool. I wasn't going to address this, but I am going to really quickly address it because lots of you guys keep asking, are you going to address the fact that you left your baby all on his own. Guys, let's stop finding it our job to criticise and slate other parents for absolutely no reason at all. We did not leave Jace on his own. He wasn't left stranded on a beach crying his eyes out. He was fast asleep right in front of us. I know Chris did a shot on the camera and it made him look further away but Chris was using a wide angle lens and if you guys have any knowledge about cameras you'll know that wide angle lenses make things look much 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 further away than they actually are. He was literally a few meters, a few meters in front of us fast asleep whilst we went in to cool off in the water. No crime has been committed here. He wasn't stranded on his own on the beach. In fact he was probably the same distance he is right now to what he was at the beach. So, Chris is actually going to be sat there editing the vlog. But, Jace is here, the pool's here. Jace is here, the pool's here. That's probably the same distance, if not actually less, than what he was at the beach the other day. And we never took our eyes off of him once, and then I got out and he was still asleep. Anyway, that's that addressed. You girls, what are you saying? We went on this, on the um, slide, we went on the train all three of us, it was really fun. And also, I jumped into the big pool. <gasps> wow, so I can film me on this camera. Yeah. Should we go do that yeah, now? Little boy still sleeping. I'm so glad he's having a little nap. Finally, I can't believe how big he's getting, guys. Look how big he is. What's up, cheeky boy? Are you having a good swim with mama? <laughs> yeah, man. He just woke up and he's sweaty, sweaty, so we're going for a little swim. Well, sweaty, sweaty. His hair was sweaty. <laughs> we have a little paddle. You got a nice little spiky do going on, darling. Good boy. This whole resort and this pool is some, one of the best resorts I've ever been to. Hands down, it's absolutely stunning. And I'm really, really feeling a bit sad and emotional tonight because we're coming up to our last couple of days here before we have to move on because that's what we've booked to do. And unfortunately, we have actually tried to stay a bit longer in this place because we don't have any strict plans on this trip. Well, not many strict plans anyway. And we do have a few more days that we can spare, that we could stay here, but unfortunately it's sold out. This is one place that I really wish I'd booked two weeks for because I didn't expect it to be as good as it is from its website and things, but it's absolutely amazing. We sleep here again tomorrow night, but then on Thursday, we check out and we go on to our next destination in Spain, which I am very, very excited about. But I'm also feeling emotional about the fact that we're leaving here because this place is absolutely amazing. What's up, little man? <laughs> have you finished your swimming now? He sat in there ages then, like, for like 20 minutes. It probably would have stayed in longer, but because the sun's going down, it, it, to me it feels a bit like it might be cold. Probably yeah. weren't, but... Well, you had lots of friends around you, didn't you, mate, eh? Yeah, did. You have lots of friends come and see you. <laughs> All the Spanish people, like, come round him and they're, like, talking to him and cooing over him because, obviously, he's like blondie blondie with blue eyes and they all just were loving you weren't they they were coming you had a lot of how, friends how fair he is it's like he's so fair he's so fair he's got blondie blondie gingery hair that's so pretty so we just got back to our much 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 cooler 
caravan which was so nice we are having a little bit of a problem with the the big it's kind of hard to explain but with obviously with an air conditioning unit you have to have somewhere to let out the hot air and so you get one of those big tube plastic things that you're supposed to vent outside we don't have a vent hole so we're having to put it through a window but then obviously the window's open so it's letting in hot air which kind of defeats the object it's still much cooler but we do need to work out a longer term solution you're looking very serious in the background there Esme can you show my outfit? of course you can so Esme and Isla and Isabel Isla's just having snuggles with Jace right now just went to Isabel. Isabel yes you know names you know hard to remember you all because I've got so many <laughs> I'm just joking. Anyway, these guys just went to the changing rooms and got themselves ready for dinner. We're going for a special dinner this evening because it's our second to last night. Chris is vlogging through the camera. So we're just getting ready to leave for dinner and I wanted to show you guys the view out of our window. This is my window here. And this is the view straight out of it. Straight out to the ocean. It looks kind of misty tonight, but so, so ridiculously beautiful. Every morning when I wake up, I want to start the vlog with a shot straight out the window and I keep forgetting to do it. So hopefully tomorrow, I'm gonna remember to do it. I'm seriously gonna miss this. Everybody that gets the opportunity to live by the sea, you guys are so lucky. It's a really weird, but such a cool feeling, being able to look outside your window and just see the massive, vast ocean out there. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's our second to last night tonight which we're very sad about we've got plans that we really want to do tomorrow night but we won't yeah. tell them yet but tonight we're going for a dinner in the restaurant here so, on site yeah. because obviously this is an all in buffet. yeah this is an all-inclusive <laughs> campsite so it's buffet and you can eat there even if you're not all-inclusive you can just pay as you go yeah but the girls just got themselves ready and I have to say even Esme's got bright red lipstick on and she doesn't need it because she's beautiful enough they look beautiful and they've got on their beautiful dresses you might have seen these in, in the peacocks haul that we did the other day the girls got these from peacocks and they are so so beautiful Isabel's dress is also from peacocks I'll show you that in a moment and this video is not sponsored by peacocks but my top is also from peacocks and I love it I have just ironed it and the iron leaked everywhere so it's a bit of a mess but this is also from peacocks as are my shorts and yeah so we're kitted out by peacocks today here is isabel dress from peacocks ta, 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 ta dress ta dress and jace was also going to wear a peacocks outfit i love this color on him you can't tell on camera it's beautiful and it goes with these absolutely gorgeous little rollosaurus dungarees they're so 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 beautiful and the colors are gorgeous but it's just too hot can't put them over the top so he's just rocking a t-shirt by the way guys vlogging a vlogger Vlog in a vlogger. current favourite toy right now is this adorable panda which came on your chair didn't it? Oh, Granny bought him a chair for our travels, it was actually our Mallorca trip and this panda and a little book came on it and they're both his favourite toys. He loves him so much, so, so much. What are you going for Isabel? It's a very like seafoody night, I guess. A seafoody, it's got yeah, squid mum. Anyway, I've got some, um, this is paella, like chicken paella, and most just like chicken rice. Chicken rice, okay. Potatoes and pizza. Looks good, enjoy. So like Isabel said, it is a very fish, seafood orientated type of night. There's a lot of squid, etc. But I still managed to fill up my plate with the delicious looking food. Paella. So No, there's no paella, this is actually just rice. with. Chicken and vegetables. Oh, is it? I've tried to avoid the chicken because I prefer just the rice and the vegetables because it looks so good. So I got the chicken, the vegetables and rice. I got some peas and carrots, which just looks delicious. They like douse and garlic or something. They smell so good. Broccoli and potatoes. This looks divine. Esme's gone for a little mixture. Looks good, and so is uh, I love. I've got like green. delicious dinner we are just heading back to our caravan hopefully a much cooler caravan and we're just that's so weird. do it i 
I everyone says me and Isabella are like the twins. I don't I never see it. See it. I never Apart see from every it. now and again, sometimes I'll I see a picture like, or a clip and I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah. Anyway guys, yeah, we're about to head back to our caravan. We're just going to play a couple of games of cards because that's what we like to do when we're on holiday as a family and then get ourselves to bed. So we thought we'd head, end it here. I know I asked you before on some advice about Jace and the fact that he's waking up constantly and feeding all the time. So I just want to say just to stop any comments like this, I know at four months they go through a sleep regression stage. Um, so I already know about that, I've looked all that up. I also know that we're in a hot country so I do expect him to drink or eat or feed much more than what he usually would at home. But this seems excessive, this is like every hour, day and night. But if you do have any advice on how to help him sleep a little bit better at night, comment down below and let me know and I would really appreciate it. Hey, if you all enjoyed this vlog, this is our last day here, full day here, tomorrow, which we're all so sad about. We've been trying to book the next part of our stay. Part of this big adventure has been pre-booked, and then parts that have not been booked, the next part's not booked, so we're currently looking for somewhere to stay, but we're not feeling very inspired, we're just feeling a bit sad. <laughs> we're just feeling a bit sad about having to leave here because we just we love it so 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 much it's just the most incredible place we've ever been but fingers crossed we managed to find somewhere good and you guys will obviously see thank you all so much as always for watching this video and all of your amazing love and support that we've received over the last couple of days it means so much to us we'll see you all back here tomorrow at 5pm good night, good night guys mm -hmm.